Hello, people. This is Iron Man Fan 147 showing you my um, or giving you a tutorial on how to make a maze game. This is part two. I just got done with part one about three minutes ago. Anyways, so here's what you want to do if you want to have um, say you want levels to your game. All right. I am going to save this. Remember, always save, 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 save. Don't ever forget that because I just did. Maze. Shoot. Maze. Tutorial. There we go. Okay. Now I'm gonna add a. You can add anything really. Um, an ecosphere. Let's make it an ecosphere. I like ecospheres because they seem to be better for um. I don't know. They don't have very many vertices, and they're still a. Um, there's still a sphere. So I'm gonna add a color to it. I'm gonna make it a light blue and make this shadeless so that way light will not affect it. It's always the same color and it's really, really bright. Okay. Save, save, save. Okay, um, now I'm gonna hit the logic key, which is F4. Hit, um, don't make it an act or anything. Make it, um, add, add, and add. For the sensors, controllers, and actuators, can connect them all. Then hit collision instead of always. And property, I'm gonna click on my player because I didn't think I gave him a property. I didn't. So I'll name the property player. Make sure it stays there, and then click on your sphere and put player in for um under collision. And then make sure all those connected. Make sure of that, and then on motion, below the actuators, change that to scene, and um, set scene. Now you're going to go up here at the very top um, where it has file, add, timeline, game, render, help. If you look over to your right, you should see something in capital letters, SCE, and then a colon, and then scene. Click on that and add a new one and make it empty. Okay, so now you have a completely new scene. So you can go back to your first one. Now you can go to your next one. Name the scene level 2. Actually, let's go name the other scene level 1. So you have two levels. I don't know, you can name whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. And now I'll add a plane in level 2. Make it really big. I'll add a lamp now. And I'll... You know, do what I was doing before. The extruding thing, you know. Make the maze. Oh, okay. Okay, that's good enough. <laughs> I'm only giving a tutorial, so it shouldn't be too complicated, I guess. Um, so there you go. And I'll move this over a little bit, because I believe the cube is going to be around here somewhere when it spawns there. Sir, no, I can put it wherever. So I'll put a... Okay. I'll save this as... Same thing. And now I'll take. If you have another cube, you have to set up another cube in level 2 for all that same stuff. So I think I'll actually save this as something else. Blah. Blah, 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 blah. That's just because I have a blah, blah, blah already, so I have to put 5. Okay, so save as. Name it whatever, and then go into your open recent and whatever you saved your first maze game as. Or no, stay in, stay in your new one. Your blah 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 blah. Now you're gonna append or link and blender tutorial. I guess that that's what I named mine. So I'll go into an object um, player. Uh, I should get my cube, which is right here, which has all the stuff for you, so you don't have to, like, go over it again. 
And I'll append in... Or no, I don't need to. I'll just put another camera in. Add another camera. Um, parent that to the cube. You know, the control piece. So now you should be able to move around in your level 2. Yep, I can move around in my level 2. So now, go back to your level 1. Oh, that was this thing. Never mind that. Um, here's the, click your sphere and add scene right here where it says in the actuators you're clicking on your ecosphere that you added in level 1. You're gonna click where it says scene or that big capital SCE thing. You're gonna hit level 2 because that's what you named your second level. Whoops, I spelled it. Level two. Spelling does count. Spaces count. So capitals count. Capital lowercase letter count. Okay, so now I should be able to. Um, I'm in level one and I'm testing out the game right here. So I should be able to go in here and collide with this, and it should take me right to level two, which it does, which is good. So that's how you make a maze game in Blender. Now, I guess if I wanted to go back to level 1, I could have another sphere set up where I would have to do something or collide with something to make me go to level 1 again, I guess. But that's pretty much how you do it. It's like that. Thank you for watching.